Greetings, human. Today you're going to receive your very first palm reading. And the palm readings that you've been receiving have been false, a misaccurate representation of what palm readings really are. I'm going to show you the proper way to do palm reading. Give me your left hand and I will give you a palm reading. You caught me in the lie. Good job. You're supposed to give me your right hand. Okay. I'm going to feel your hand for a bit and give you a proper hand reading. Okay. just evaluating the lines in your hand, checking them for any excess ridges, anything that may stand out, or even anything that may be inhumane. hand back in front position. And now I'll teach you what I'm going to do. First off, I want to mention that when you put out your hand flat like this, there is five fingers, of course, and this index finger represents Jupiter. This middle finger represents Saturn. This ring finger represents the Sun. And this pinky finger right here represents Mercury. The tip of the thumb represents willpower. The middle of the thumb represents logic. The lower end of the thumb near the webbed area between your index finger and the thumb represents the lower Mars. This area right here where there's a bone is Venus. Okay, we got that. This large curved line is your lifeline. This line right down the middle is your fate line. And this line right across here represents your head. This line here represents marriage. Just above, actually. It's right there. And this upper line represents your heart. So, you're going to get a lot in this reading. There's also the minor details. This is upper Mars. This is the moon, if I'm not mistaken. Are you ready for your proper, very first palm reading? Good, good. Good, my friend. You will receive your very first and proper palm reading. You won't be dissatisfied. And you will be nothing but satisfied today after getting your reading. There is no fee. There is not a charge. This is for free. Okay. Give me your right palm.
now. Says a lot about you. Looking into your pinky and Mercury, your index finger, the Sun, your middle finger, Saturn, and your index finger, Jupiter. Okay. According to the Saturn finger, you have a lot to learn. When there is a Mercury retrograde, you are definitely one of those who are affected massively. Your son says, you were meant to speak to many people. Your Jupiter shows that you are full of strength. Reading into your marriage line now, and I can see you have a couple of those lines. They say that that means you will have a couple of children. And it depends how many lines you have, how many kids you're going to have. So, checking on the side definitely shows that. Now, checking your head line. I don't have to necessarily go in order. But your head line does show very long, very strong. It goes all throughout your palm, from left to right, with no breakage whatsoever. You are very intelligent. Use that for your own strength. It connects to your Jupiter finger, pretty far up, and that is rare. You are very strong. Now I'm checking your heart line. Your heart line it breaks off in three at the end. So you have trouble with your love life, but you are still very healthy. And you have a big, full heart as thick as this line is. You are full of courage, loyalty, and you love talking a lot. Very interesting, indeed. Now I'm going to read into your lifeline. I'm tracing the pattern down with your hand. Your lifeline is enormous. You will have a very long life. The line even goes down your wrist, believe it or not. At least the upper quadrant. You'll have a very long and healthy life indeed, as it connects to your head and heart line. And your fate line is just unbelievable. It crosses through your headline and heartline like it should, but there's a little slight breakage through where the heart is. So you want to make sure never to lose heart, your soul, no matter where your career path takes you. You have to keep your heart true to yourself and deep within and never lose that part of you. And if you do, there may be a fatal consequence, some sort of unnecessary drama in your life that may approach due to the fact that you didn't bring back your soul. I will look more into your palm. I just need you to take a deep breath because you look a little bit nervous.
that's okay, my dear friend. There's nothing to fear. It is just a palm reading. Nothing to fear. The palm reader is here. Give me your hand, please. I'll warm it up a bit. When your hand is warm, I know that you're relaxed. If your hand is cold, you're very tense, you're very nervous. You can even feel the goosebumps going down your arm right now. Just breathe and just be sure to be still and calm as possible. And everything will be okay. Good. You're very warm now. Just going to go from the tip of your thumb to the way bottom of your thumb. Read from top to bottom. Your willpower is outstandingly amazing. It is very unique, full of strength again, and it will take you far to many places you've never been before or even dreamt of going. You have this strong urge to move to somewhere new. You're very developed. You're a high-level person, a high-level human being spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally in all states and aspects. And you love to meditate. And you love traveling the world, which connects back to the urge that you need to get out of your comfort zone and move to somewhere new. Now I'm going to go down, trace your thumb a bit more, and go to where the logic lines are. And, like I said before, you are very logical. However, you must use common sense as well. And never lose that soul and spirit. You must maintain your true inner heart, yourself, in order to succeed and move on with your life, because you are already of a very high level in spirit and mind, and I want you to know that, and I want you to remember that. This has been a wonderful palm reading, and your lower Mars, upper Mars, moon, and Venus quadrants all match perfectly. The only issues I see here are that your Venus region, which is right here in this area, does not connect well to your heart area. And like I said earlier, because you have this separation between your fate line and your heart line, you will have problems with your love life, but if you use your heart to your full advantage in the proper way, of course, not to someone's advantage, then you will find your way because you are so logical and intelligent. Like I said in the headline, you are intelligent and logical, but you must use your heart and not take advantage of people. Don't use that. a misleading advantage or misguiding advantage. I feel like maybe someone is probably feeding you false information and I want you to take away the false information because I can feel your strong energy from here, even from a mile away. You are full of life, full of this white light and I can see it from you and you can do a lot of things. Just make sure to Keep your heart, not your mind. You already got the intelligence and logical aspects down. Your low power is already strong. You just need to keep your heart alive and open and well. Give love to other people and you will be loved. Thank you for coming for your palm reading and I hope you have a wonderful day.